Welcome to zerocostsoftware.com video demonstration. I am Kibir. In this short video, I will demonstrate how you can create a highly encrypted drive within your existing hard drive to store secret files using a free software called TrueCrypt. I will assume that you have already installed TrueCrypt on your hard disk. Let's get started by clicking on TrueCrypt icon. Once started, you will see a screen similar to the one I'm showing here. Since we need to first create an encrypted disk within our existing physical hard disk, I will click on the Create Volume button. Now I have three choices. I can choose the default one, the Create a File Container, which is basically a virtual disk within your disk without needing to use any full any partition or, or a full hard disk. Second choice is to create a volume, encrypted volume within your disk using a partition that is not used for your operating system. Third choice is to use the entire disk. Now, I'll, I'll stick with the default because that's what we want to do. We want to create a file, encrypted file within the file system. Now, next choice is to select the volume type. The standard true, true volume is fine. The hidden volume is for those who want to hide the volume and deny it, its existence and so on, which is uh, something that we will avoid. Next step is to put a location for the volume, the file where you, we are going to store the encrypted disk. So first I'm going to go click on select file, enter a path. Any path that you have available and have free space is good. I'm going to call it my secret stuff dot desk. It doesn't matter what extension you use, it, you don't have to. Um, next, I'm going to choose the encryption options. Unless you know what you're doing, the default options should be fine. The next, the size of the disk. I'm going to choose 1024 megabyte, which is close to a, a 1 gigabyte. Next, I'm going to enter the password. And since nobody is looking at my back, I'm going to go ahead and make the password, uh, display the password so that I can uh, see what I'm typing. And I'm going to enter the same password to confirm it. The warning will show the password is too small. We'll, we'll go with the small one for now. Then we, I'm going to move my mouse around to create some random data so that the encryption is much stronger. After moving it around for a few seconds to a minute or longer, you, are, you can click on Format to actually format the volume. Now it's going to format the volume, basically preparing the file for, uh, to act as a disk. So just like you would do any new partition or a disk. So this takes a little bit of time depending on how much space you are formatting. Since I'm doing about a gig, uh, it should not take that much time. Almost done. There you go. Now the volume is created. Great. Now we are done with this program. We, go, we can go back and now load this disk by assigning it a drive letter and actually finding the file. So select the file. Then we'll go to the place where we, we stored the file, my secret disk, and assigning a drive letter of my choice. In this case, I'll select S for secret. And I'll click on the mount button to mount the drive. This will ask for a password. Again, I can display the password. Click on OK. Now you'll notice that S drive is mounted, and I can exit this program. I can open up Windows Explorer and look for my drive. I noticed that there's a local drive called S drive with 99 gigabytes of free space. I can go there, just like a normal disk. I create a new folder called top secrets. I can bring files to it. I can do anything I want as a normal Windows uh, disk. Now, the disk is available as long as the computer is um, running. If you turn off the computer, the disk will disappear. However, the, not the files. The files will remain encrypted in that file that we initially created. Now, one, every time you reboot your computer or start it, uh, you will have to, uh, the TrueCrypt 
and assign the file to the drive letter and ask, enter the password. If you um, would like to take the file with you somewhere and have, using a USB drive or, or maybe another removable media such as DVD, you can simply uh, unmount the drive by clicking on the TrueCrypt partition, select the, select the drive letter and unmount or dismount. And then you have the file back, which is which is what you would uh, copy onto your uh, removable media or whatever disk. So now, if I do the properties, you'll notice that the property is one gig size. But there is no way to access this file without going through TrueCrypt. True this is an encrypted file. So even if it gets stolen, somebody has to know your password to access this disk. The encryption is very strong, therefore, you know, without knowing the password, it will be impossible to get the file. That's why you have to be careful, because if you lose the password, you are not going to be able to recover it. There is no way to recover the password. Hopefully, you have enjoyed the video. Thank you.